Hello tubers. Just wanted to show you a couple of guns I had back here in the back room. Uh, this is a model 77 Winchester 22. Um, it's 1959 tube fed. Shoots pretty good, but uh, every about seven to 10th round, it will jam and it will bite it as it tries to come out of the chamber. It'll It'll bite it right. It'll chomp and bite it right there. Kind of strange. The spring feels heavy, so I thought that I would. It's been oiled. I thought that I would bend the fins out there on the carrier um, and see if that helped. And then I thought that I would put a bushing behind the spring that um, pushes the slide forward and see if that helped. If, if anyone knows anything about it, let me know. I'm missing a, a screw there, of course, as you can see. Um, but the gun does shoot good. It's really accurate. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> as, as you can see, it's all original, never been messed with. The gun may not be worth a hundred bucks, but it, it is really accurate and it, it is fun to shoot. Uh, it's been shot a lot, but uh, sure is fun to shoot. Well, it's not for sale, so what difference does it make? Anyway, and here's the little house gun here, the Charles Daly 12 gauge. You can get six shells in this gun, uh, two and three quarter. Um, it shoots awful fast. It's based on the Remington 1100, from what I understand, and the insides. But uh, I've heard people have problems with this gun. What you've got to do is, uh, I guess... If you shoot it a lot, you've got to make sure, and I've had it done with this gun, my brother-in-law is an excellent gunsmith, is uh, there are the O-rings in there, I guess they're oil like bronze, and they will wear out, and this is a mostly gas operated gun, um, the gases that when the gun fires won't operate the gun properly and eject the shell. It'll kind of do the same thing as the Winchester was doing there um, because the gas is going around, you know, the, uh, the tube. So the gas is not being used where it should. It's coming out where it should be coming out in the vent here after it operates uh, the action to eject the shell and then reset and bring the new shell in. Um, so what you do is they're about ten dollars a piece. I think there's three of them in there. He told me I've had this thing apart and I can't remember. But if you've had trouble with this gun, it, it, it shoots excellent. But you have got to change those if you're going to shoot it a lot. Order you some of those O-rings, and uh, definitely, definitely change those, and it will shoot excellent. I mean, it, it's it's an excellent shooting gun. I've got a modified choke in there, and the thing's got a real light recoil kind of a light gun uh, it works good I think you can buy them at Walmart but anyway so I thought that might help somebody with uh, had a similar gun like this make sure you change those o-rings and she'll fire great anyway thanks for watching guys have a good night bye